All right. Give me just a few minutes. I'll pull chat up. If you're watching the recording, just uh, fast forward ahead. I'll show you what's on my desk and we'll get started on something that'll give people time to come over. It's just a pop up. stream all right hey Shauna I thought I'd play with the black Nara paper um, and I started another file. I finished my file folder and I started a file folder hi Lori so here's where I ended up with what we had done the other day. I went in with Posca pins and added details. So I think I'm happy with it. And I decided, um, I found a piece of this acetate type paper and I think I'm gonna washi tape that in here and make like a little pocket. So that piece will be in here and it, Give that pop of pink back there. It gives me another pocket divider. So, and if you're not familiar with the folder project, Kathy Berg, not Kathy Berg, sorry. Kathy Arbor showed it on her channel. And this is the one I have done. And like I said, I'm just going to add this into it with some washi tape and put that in there. And then I'm going to use score tape to make like a little pocket. And then I started a second folder. And all I've done so far is pick some papers. I knew I wanted to use this green it looks like quilted gingham scrapbook paper so i found things i liked with it so i know i want to use that edge of this i'm going to use this little floral with the lavender and the green it's mostly florals um ledger paper this is some timmy paper this with some weathered wood. This goes with that weathered wood. This is just a piece of green with another piece of that acetate. Um, this is a green acetate that's just leaves that's embossed. So those are the papers I pulled out. And then I know kind of what the construction is. Tip, basically, I want this one to hold my um, patterns. So I'm going to have pockets that fold down like this and a flap that folds up. So this will create a pocket back there. And then the thought was that I folded a ridge up so that I can put some of the paper with the pockets on the side on either side of this ridge going up. And then when I cut one of these, I ended up with this. So I'm going to make, it's a pocket here, but there's a flap here. And then I'm going to put this top piece to kind of hold some of the patterns. So there'll be this flap. And then this will be on top. And then it'll be kind of like that. And then I'll put my patterns in there. So that's sort of, I find if I plan them, because I want to cover them before I assemble them so that there's not, uh, like it's easier to cover this or paint it while it's out rather than when it's in the folder. So I have to think if this is and build it that way, or that's just the way I have approached it. But 
Let's play with the black Nara paper. Hi, Kat. Hi, Tori. Kat, I need to go in there when I'm not on. I need to make myself a note. To mod you. And a few other people. Because some of the people I originally modded don't, don't come to streams all the time. So this is the 12 by 12. And it's in black. They have 9 by 12. They're going to have circles. Um, we're going to use the white and colors. And some of the metallics is going to be the main gist. I am thinking that I want to cut this into six pieces so i'm going to cut it in half first this is 12 by 12. Get a new blade. Okay. And one side of this is rougher than the others. And then I'm going to. So these will be four by six. And I think I'll keep this one will be a little larger. I think I'll do that. It'll give us some different sizes to play with. And this is available on Amazon. I don't know of anyone else that is carrying the Nara paper. Like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't know that they're in those. It comes out of India. They are trying to get a UK distributor. Colored tins ready. Here is the white. And the pearl. Here is the gold. And the brass, I like the pinata brass, it's my favorite for the metallics. Gotta say, I don't care for the, the silvers for the most part that are out. I'm hoping that the new silver, there's a gunmetal in the silver, are better. My favorite silver is the liquid chrome because you can shatter that pretty good. All right, so let's 
Start with some white. I don't use these very often, so I'm making sure it's really mixed. And a little bit of alcohol. So I have something to move. Okay. Now, I don't use this very often. That's just like clunky. Let's put in this periwinkle and some pink color. It's like it curdled. I'm using alcohol inks on the Black Nara. That's new. Maybe the problem was adding the alcohol to the white. The Maybe this alcohol is the mistake. Let's try adding. Look at it move. That was just Ranger. That did better. Let's try the edge. It doesn't feather out. It's not the paper that's different. I don't work with the white very often, so... Try adding some silver in there. That's the Ranger Mixative. Trying to get some of that silver to shatter. Let's add some color on top of that. Let's add some Laguna. Pinata and Ranger. Let's 
kind of a cool effect. It tends, it you can't like reactivate it. Again, it's not the black. It's more the the mixatives and the blanco. But it seems like if it's wet and you add the color in it when it's wet. Here's boysenberry. That like when you put the color in it when it's wet, it moves a little better and blends. But it feels more like um, like nail polish. Yeah, it's it's it smells really strong. Um, let me see real quick. I was seeing if the Marabou had a white, but they don't. So, Pinata is the only white I have. Tim calls it Pearl. See, that didn't even mix. The pearl is much clearer, but I also may have to add some more. Purple, and let's add some, I'm just adding to this liquid, this pearl that's here. some brass in there. But yeah, I can't get it to move much. I did get some of that brass to shatter. But 
but yeah it almost has like a skin And again, it's not the paper. It's the the mix of t it's these are more enamel like than the regular alcohol inks. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Hi Tori by the way. And it looks very sticky. Now, this one's not dry. But I feel like if I were to stick foil on this, like big globs of foil would come off. So it's very difficult to work with. the Not the black paper. The white in my, in, you know. So let's let that set up for a few minutes. And let's try another one. Let's go with the pearl. <laughs> Try to make sure it's really. Hi, Tara. Hi, Gail. Hi, Jan. Hi, Nana. All right, so this is the pearl. So let's come in, and it's kind of a clear, that more like that rainbow. And then let's add to that a blue. Add one of the new pinata blue. Let's add glacier to it. And let's add mojito for the green. And then let's add some white. Why it's still liquid. Actually, no, let's not do the white. Let's do that. Okay, now, now let's add in some white. Why it's pretty wet still. Oh, that's more of the rainbow. Grab the wrong one. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's let that sort of set up just a little bit more. Switch. I want to try foil on it and see what happens with foil. Bye, Kathy. Okay, let's take a piece of the foil. Because I got some definite ridges. So that took the foil. That looks like a map. Let's try and see if any of this foil sticks over here. 
That's stuck to a large area. I think more would stick too if I... And the foil is sticky. That is pretty. You can see I can how metallic it is. I mean, that is pretty with the black background. And then you could probably add a little more ink on top of it. Like maybe we need a little more. This is pool. Trying to get some more of that, maybe some more of that turquoise in areas. And this might need more of the purple color in here, but it also might need some more of that white. In with that purple. Go with that darker purple on top of it. And then I'm going to add some more foil if I can on that area where the purple is. Oh, that, that did it. I could probably add foil right in. Like, it's very sticky. Well, I mean, on the black, you kind of have to use the white or the metallics, or you're just not going to see anything. It's just not going to show up. Let's try doing... I don't know how this is going to work. Let's try doing a, like a, a landscape. Okay, so I have the white. I'm going to work upside down. I'm going to work on the sky. First, let's go pink at the bottom. And then let's go with a, I feel like I have to go quick, butterscotch. And then kind of a lemon. 
All right, and then let's try using a brush. All right, we need some. metallic in there and I think we need to go a darker um, plum I got to let's go back in with some more white Okay, that's pretty. Let's dry that and freeze that. There's a piece of hair or something. There we go. Nara paper is plastic, basically, Belinda. All right, we want to, and I'm telling you this, if you are more smell sensitive, this is not for you. And that's just cool air. This is um has warm hair and cool. This has a brush that goes in it for like styling your hair. Okay. Now I don't know how that's gonna handle like how my brush is gonna clean. Okay, seem to do okay. Let me get another paper towel. I was using some alcohol to sort of clean the brush and get some of that out. Let's do let's do water, just a thin water. So I'm going to use the white. And we use a stone wash. No. We want just debating what blue I want. That's a baby. Do we want a blue blue or do we want a turquoise blue? I'm going to do some green because I like the green and the pink combo, but I want a little ribbon of blue. I'm going to use the botanical for the green and the moss and the lettuce maybe. I'm putting back my other colors. Actually, I'm not going to use the botanical. I'm going to use the citrus. Maybe the citrus and the moss. No, the lettuce and the moss. They're softer. 
Do we want to do a purpley blue? We want it to pop. Glacier. I'll do a little aquamarine and glacier. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to put the white down again. All right, and then I'm going to put the river there. Let's do some green here and some darker green back here and lighter green up here again. Okay, so let's take the brush. And I think I'm going to take some of this pearl and put it in the river. I want some of the I'm gonna add some of the citrus because I don't feel like it's popping. Ooh, that stuff stinks. Okay, let's dry that and kind of freeze that. Okay, and I feel like it needs maybe brown to anchor it in a few places. Maybe some gunmetal. I'm going to put it on a brush. And teak wood. Mixed in with the gunmetal. Right, I'm going to get that on the brush. I'm kind of thinking I'm like a mountain range in the background. crop of some rocks maybe even along the stream Pulling up like some grass. Kind of 
kind of like it's wetland. In the foreground. Hi, Joan. Okay, let's dry that. And I feel like it needs something right in here where that white is. So I'm going to put in some sun on top of that pink. It did reactivate. almost looks like trees now the dark all right i'm gonna i'm just using some regular alcohol to lift out in that area to make like a Kind of a dark area. And it looks like a little land. I may do that over here too. I'm just putting some alcohol. Just to loosen some of that. There. She can come in. She just can't get up. She was complaining. Yeah. Sorry, the shoes in here, honey. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe open the door. Yeah. Well, it's your birthday, but you're getting high off that stuff. This is Black Nara. And I'm just using some, trying to darken this foreground. The mountains didn't really work. But the alcohol is making it like the just the regular alcohol is making I'm getting black down down to the black again. Like a tree line. Okay, so I think I 
think I could call that done. And you can see that it's super metallic. I can't see anything on my computer. That is so weird. So that worked pretty well. Um, brighter colors with the white do better, I think, than the softer colors. They go muddy. Let's... Uh, let me get some alcohol and clean up the brushes. I need to get one of those, um, like a glass jar for oil painting, for cleaning brushes. that has maybe a lid and see if I could put the alcohol in it and because it's really hard to clean the brushes and get them clean. I got one more piece and then we're going to have to stop with that. So yeah, this is the black Nara paper. It's brand new. It will take acrylic so we could let's go ahead and do that. Let's let me switch gears and let's try something different because I will tell you the, the fumes are, and I'm not super sensitive to this, but this, the mixative stuff, it's like nail polish or spray paint. It's bad. All right, let me. Yeah, Vaughn, I'm thinking that the 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 jars that are made for cleaning brushes for oil, I could keep some alcohol in them and they're in the glass and close the lid. And perhaps it would be a good solution. Okay, so I'm thinking... about possibly maybe we should try jelly printing on the black Nara paper like a crusty bit type but we want some negative space we want some of the black to show get my eight by ten and a brayer all right there's 
my plate. Dirty as it is. And let's use some of the Arteza iridescence on the black. Let's see what happens. All right. I need to think backwards. Let's try the shocking line. Okay, all of these are sealed. I haven't opened them. This does not seem to want to roll. There we go. The brayer was stuck. More paint than I need. Let's uh some white paper and we'll spray her off and that'll be good paper. All right, let's try one of Joan's stencils that I like a lot. Right. It circles. Let's put that down first and we're going to pull this paper because we're going to build what I want to put on the NARA paper. Well, actually, let's go ahead and go straight to the NARA paper. I'm going to put it down on the rough side. And then I'm going to lay a piece of white paper on top. Hi, Patricia. All right, I'm trying not to let that NARA paper move as I make sure it's making good contact because it will need to dry. I don't want to wiggle it much because it will smush. Just trying to make good contact. So there's those sides. Those are fun. All right. Just trying to pull it up and not wiggle it. Okay, so see, I got a squishy. Because it's plastic, it's not going to absorb. So I am going to let that dry over there for a minute. And let's go ahead and put this on the plate again and get the rest of that. All right, so that's, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave this just like this because I like to have, use these in collage and leave the white spaces like a resist to use with the watercolors or the sprays and stuff. So I think I'll leave that one the way it is. Let's take that off. Let's 
sprayer in the back of it. I don't clean my stencils. This is about as clean as they get. Ooh, that's pretty. Actually, I'm going to leave that too because that makes a really pretty resist. I like that solid stripe. I'm going to leave that the way it is. Put this one back. Now I want something with a smaller scale. I want something that fits inside those circles. I'm going to use that. Okay. So let's dry this. Air. Right. Okay. You want some wine or some cigarettes? Anything? No, no wine or cigarettes. Right. I'm trying to think if there was anything we needed, but now I'm good. I think I'm going to make this bubble if I can. Not the paper, the paint. Change your mind already? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with peach tea. What? Oh. All right, so I think that's dry enough. So let's see, that's definitely dry. What color do we want to use with this? Let's go crazy and do the purple. Cool, Judy. You know, our haven't seen our fearless leader. She, I should have said I was streaming. She's probably taking a nap. Feeding the cats. Doing chores. I don't see Dot. Oh, there's Dot. Okay. All right, let's put the stencil down. And then we'll let's go ahead and put that right there again. that color on the white okay that added I don't know if I like it but it did get interesting it's there get the rest out of the stencil
Okay, that's definitely on there in places. I'm going to leave that the way it is too because I like that. Okay. Well, I do want to wear off a little bit. Now the question is What do we want? Where do we want to go with this? I want to keep the black. I mean, I don't want the black to disappear. What I'm wondering is if it needs, like, if this is all, it should be jelly printed, and then I collage over it in some way. I'm kind of feeling like I want dictionary print with it in some place. You know, like some. And then put something on top of it. So I think I'm going to be done with the Black Nara. And I think I want to add, break it up with some pieces of some, the white and the black, the text. And then do something on it, like a focus image or something that pops. So I think I'm going to set that aside. Let's see. Do we want to do. There's purple and green. This red's calling to me. Let's put some of this red. On there. Through a stencil. And then we'll probably do a cleanup print. Okay, let's find another stencil. Needs to be little. All right, I'm going to use this one. It's just a harlequin and some zigzags that I designed on my silhouette and then cut on a divider. Okay, that's going to come across more pink. Then red. Let's add. Let's add the shady orange to it. It's because it's pinker than I want. Okay. Let's add the. So that's the red and the the orange together. Still pretty pink. Okay, so let's go with that. Uh, get another piece of 
paper. And really what I should have done was laid the stencil down and put the color through the stencil. You have, that's pretty. These are all going to make really good resist. Let's leave that on there the way it is. Let's clean this up on the back side. I don't think these paints shift as much as the color shift by folk art, but they are a nice metallic. All right, let's use Do we want to pick it up with a black or a white? I'm kind of leaning towards the white. I'm not sure if the if it wouldn't just get lost in the black. I don't know. Oh, what the hey? Let's try black. White? Okay, Shauna said white. These are Arteza iridescents. And the whole set was not very expensive at all. You get 10 colors in the set. All right, for the cleanup, you want a thin layer of paint. You want to let it dry to that, to the dry paint, the wet paint, you want it to go here. So you want to leave your paper on a little longer. I don't have any Titan buff here, I don't think. I don't use it a lot. I tend to use the white more. So the lime green came out more gold. Can you see the iridescent? Not a bad piece of collage paper. I mean, I'll just like use it pieces of it. So I would say yes, those are a decent buy. Let's put this up. And let's see what we want to do with that. Piece of black Nara.
that back away. All right, so let's get. So just playing around, I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five. And I will tell you what I end up doing with these is using the sprays with them. So like here's a Lindy's Moon Shadow Mist. If you add some water. Kind of move that around. And then if you dry it. There's a turquoise shimmer in there, in that spray. That you're not going to see initially. trying to get that to dry where you can sort of see what it's going to be. So can you see the turquoise in there? So now there's brown and pink. And turquoise. You see the green in there? A rocket. No, it's a great, it's a great, uh, and you get several colors, you know, to get the whole set was under $15. And you've got several iridescents. They're not the color shifts. But I wasn't overly impressed with the color shifts. And the color shifts are more expensive. So it's a really good alternative. So let's try. Well, a piece of dictionary paper. I know I want that. I think I want it to go vertical. I like that writing on that. I 
think I'll do that. Now, let's see. I'm not sure what type of glue. Let's start with glue stick right now. Yeah, that seems to work fine. So these are like autographs, signatures. No, I'm not disrespecting. I, I mean, I for the price, I thought these were a good deal. Um. especially if you're just starting and you don't have a lot. But I wasn't overly impressed with the color shift, but it just could be I'm not using them right. Um, the Deco Art Metallics are just as sheer as these. <coughs> My favorite um, metallics I ever bought in acrylic, I need to order more, are, is a set of these. I love the silver and the copper and the bronze in this one. I don't use gold a lot. I tend to use copper. But these Reeves, and they came in a set of four, were really good metallic acrylics in a tube. And reasonable. I used a coupon at Joann's. And I want to say it was like eight bucks for four tubes. Silver can be hard to use. I think. Okay. So now what do we want to do? My brain is telling me wonky circles and in red oh no maybe turquoise Maybe wonky circles in a turquoise with a pop of red. I'm just talking to myself. I'm thinking out loud. And I have such a mess. I'm in my jelly print drawer. Trying to find the right color turquoise that I'm thinking. Not finding.
That's close. That's not. There's more of, I like that. Okay, so let's get I want three circles or oval. This is how I tend to cut my wonky circles. I open them up and decide if they'll cut the mustard. I don't like that shape, but I can cover that up. Maybe that. And then. an idea so bear with me all right so I'm gonna put I'm gonna just go with the instinct There's a red in there, and there's red in the map. The paper's gluing to this really nice. I was afraid with it being uh, plasticky that there might be issues, but it's not trying to lift. Okay. Oh, thank you, Vaughn. Okay. So now it needs the pop of red. 
and then we'll get the best red paint in my stash. I know it. it's in here somewhere. This red, and it's Camden Red Deep U, is my favorite red. I've bought the same color in other brands, but I don't like it. This one is opaque. Um, I tried the Artist Loft version of it, and not it didn't even touch it. It's too transparent. And let's get... Wish stencils that we all had to buy that we were enabled to buy and let's we're going to put something down And who knows what these say? Okay, so do I want something? I almost bought the Pixie. spray and I didn't and I wished I had now but it wouldn't be here it was in my cart and then I changed my mind okay so I'm going to do that image right there And then I'm thinking about doing a longer one. Where the circles are. Maybe those should have been in black. I think those should have been in black. Let's. Let's do those over. But in black. I'm sure they are rude. Probably say something about dumb Americans. Oh, I like it in black better. And just the red down there.
Now there is a, st a, play a girl on Etsy that does sell the wish stencils on Etsy for a shorter turnaround time. That one kind of, now it needs something right there. I think I want a button. Oh no, I know what we need to put there. I got the perfect thing there if I can find it. And it's the perfect gear. It's 1961, which is the year I was born. That's about as Robin as I get. Speaking of Robin McClendon. Uh, let's see. That's not going to work. I don't want to waste that red paint. So let's... Uh, get a piece of paper. Grab a stencil that we used today. I'll just use the paint up. Who else is? Shauna, did you say, are you uh, streaming tonight? Yeah, we went out today and all this moving around, getting stuff. I didn't buy anything. But we were at pawn shops and Lowe's. I could have bought something at Lowe's, but we were in the garden center. We bought dirt. It's too early still to get the flowers and the plants. But we... And then Bob was buying guitars for school. For the guitar club. I'm telling everyone we saw that it was my birthday. Didn't get us any discounts, though. Well, I'm at the pawn shop. It didn't get us any discounts. I tried to bundle and get a better deal. But no such luck. I mean, well, we got a deal. We just didn't get the deal I wanted.
the rest of that paint. I think that's pretty good. Like I said, I'll put that up and use that on something. And I'll probably put this in a mat. But it would really need a shadow box to be framed. But I'll mat it probably something like that. Hi, Galena. Hi, Soul. Is it Rachel? Soul Rain? Is it Rachel? I can't remember. So here's kind of what we ended up with. Here's the, the abstract. And I will tell you, it is sticky in, let me move this, because I'm wondering, I feel like this is still, it might not be sticky. Yeah, it's not taking any, it's not taking any foil on. It's just glossy. It's very enamel, the mixatives. It just looks like clear gloss right there where I put the gunmetal and the brown. So that's the landscape. And then here are the other two pieces. Got a, quite a bit of metallic on it. And then this one. You can see the metallic if I rock it one way. You can see more of the color if I rock it the other way. This one looks like a world map to me. This was supposed to be kind of galaxy-like. You could splatter this with white. So that's the black Nara paper. And you can paint on it. Um, it's not, you know, you're not... Like Yupo, it's not absorbent. Um, I will spray seal these. This one does not feel sticky now that it's dried. Earlier it was, but like how the white curdled was interesting. I do have the new, uh, Tim alloys coming. So we'll play with the black. Um, I don't know that I'll do a lot of black alcohol ink work. It's interesting and I it was fun to kind of play with, but I don't like the white. So I'll probably, I like the wispies and I can't get it to wisp with the white. Unless the new white is different or the new metals act differently. But I'll play with it some more. 
I use a, a Krylon spray. I use crystal clear. Um, UV resistant clear is another one I bought. And then um, the other thing sometimes I use is I like the triple thick. Spray. I don't like the triple thick liquid that you brush on. Unless you're going to pour it and let it dry. I, I, I don't know. I don't like it. This I like. I've also bought the Americana brand sealer. This is a matte sealer. In case I don't want it. Most of the time I'm using a gloss. This is the gloss Americana. But sometimes when I'm doing alcohol ink, if I don't have a metallic, I might want a matte. So I got one of each. Since I was almost out of the cry. So that's kind of my haul. I have other things coming this week. What do I have? I have the grunge board from Shauna. I mean, from Xandra's shop. Sorry. That I think the that I got, I want to put on the top of the folder. The one that I have coming. I think I'll put that grunge board stuff, the gray board. I think the two rings with the filigree, I'm going to put on the top of my folder. Thanks, Joan. And I have the new Lindy Sprays Magicals and the, the embossing powders. I got to find my embossing pad. The embossing powders from Lindy's. I'm trying to think there's something else coming. Oh, some stuff from Wish. Some stamps and things from Wish. And washi tape. The alloys. From Joggles. The Lindy's, the Joggles, the Wish. I think those are the three art related things that I have coming in this week. I don't know what day I'll stream next, but I'll pop on again sometime this week. And do something. Maybe work on my folder. I might work on my folders while others are streaming. And when I get the the Timmy inks, the alloys, we'll play with them on the black and see what we can get to, to do with those. So, I think these will mat out pretty. Here's a mat. So, there's that in a mat. There's that one in a mat. This one, I'm not sure if I mat, it will be kind of like that. So this one I may leave unmatted. These would also be pretty on the front of a card. 
one of those matted cards where you slide it in and then you open and you have a card. All right, guys. That is it for me. I will. Thank you, everybody, for all the birthday wishes. Bye-bye.